Hello, my name is Shanae and I was sent here to Heathrow Airport to um, assist with those who may have had loved ones or family members in the plane crash or the surrounding area where it landed. Um, what is your name? My name is Erica. Erica, okay. And did you have a loved one or family member that was in or around the crash? Yeah, my husband was um, on the plane. Wow, I'm really sorry. I know this must be a crazy time for you right now, but um, I'm here to help. So if there's anything you'd like to share with me so I can better help you, just let me know. Okay. Um, so I heard about the crash on the news. I was watching it late last night before I went to bed. And I was watching it, you know, it showed a lot of the footage. And then one part I saw my husband's briefcase. So, you know, I knew he was on the flight, and I saw his briefcase, so I, I know that he's alive. I just have that feeling, um, but it's still just really crazy, and, you know, I want to go see him because I want to make sure he's okay, and I want to see that he's okay. I don't want to just talk to him on the phone. I want to see him. So just kind of a world, and I just can't really believe that this is happening. So. Yeah. Okay, so your husband was on the plane crash, mm -hmm. and you saw his briefcase on the news um, last night, and that made you believe that there, you, you have hope that he's still alive. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, since the plane, um, you said that you wanted to go there, right, to mm -hmm. see him, and that's completely understandable, because I know just hearing his voice after something like this can, um, just isn't enough sometimes. So, um, but for now, do you think going, going to Scotland is something that you can do right now, like tonight, or today no it's it's not really an option but you know that if I could that's what I would like to do but. okay so is there somewhere where you could stay um, tonight here in London that you feel safe um, and comfortable going to with with something like this going on in your life right now yeah my sister actually lives in town really close to here so I could stay with her okay that's a really great idea and that's somewhere you feel safe oh yeah okay Awesome. Um, is there anything that you could do while you're at your sister's home that makes you feel comforted or um, is just kind of a healthy way for you to express some emotions? Is there anything that you do? Um, well, I am a devout Catholic. So in times of, you know, especially stress, well, anytime really, I pray a lot and I always use my rosary beads. Um, okay. which I brought them, I bring them with me everywhere. So okay. that always helps, you know, just being in prayer constantly and having my beads with me. Okay. That is something that could, I think, really, really be beneficial for you. And I can't imagine what you're going through right now, but I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about this and to come up with, um, a place for you to go tonight at least so you can gather your bearings, and then um, possibly um, go to Scotland if, if need be. Um, I'm so thankful that you have somewhere to stay tonight, um, at least for tonight, and that you can maybe come up with a plan there. Um, and also, I just want to let you know that, you know, the emotions that you're feeling right now is, is very normal. This was a very traumatic accident, and... Mm -hmm. um, so I want you to, to be safe wherever you are, um, to be in a safe environment, and to um, get to find the help that you need to either get to your husband or to get back home, um, whichever is something that you want to do. So I'm really glad that you came up with um, you know, praying and using your rosary beads, and, and that's a big comfort that you mm -hmm. have. Um, that is something that I really think can be very beneficial to you uh, while you're going through this time. And um, I think that can be like a good coping mechanism for you. That just means it's a healthy thing for you to do when you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed. Yeah. Um, now, would you like for me to refer you to any, any outside help? Um, I have the ability to do that here. And I, would, I just want you to have all the help that you need while you're in London. So is there anywhere I could refer you to? Yeah. That, or would you be okay with that? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Can I give them your name and number? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Erica, and I really wish you the best. And 
Um, thank you for taking the time to talk with me, and I hope all goes well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.